As Jesus shared prophecies with his disciples regarding the events preceding the end times, he left a profound prophecy that often goes overlooked. The gospel of his kingdom would be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all nations just before his return. When Christ spoke of reaching the whole world, he meant that every living soul, regardless of location or circumstance, would have the opportunity to hear about him and the eternal life he offers. However, a pressing question arises. How could the gospel penetrate regions where preaching about any religion other than the dominant one is strictly forbidden, such as in Muslim-majority countries? Would Jesus send Christians to such nations, knowing they could face persecution or even death at the hands of religious extremists? If necessary, yes. In fact, this reality is already unfolding. But the crux of the matter lies beyond mere human intervention. God, in his mysterious and miraculous ways, has been reaching out to the Muslim people, introducing himself to them, and extending the offer of salvation. In this video, I will illustrate how this phenomenon is occurring and share testimonies of Muslim individuals who have encountered Christ through dreams and subsequently surrendered their lives to him. Jesus is fulfilling his prophecy of reaching the unreachable nations through the medium of dreams, a truly awe-inspiring revelation. Isn't it remarkable? To understand the significance of these divine encounters, it's essential to recognize the historical connection between the Muslim people and the Israelites. Muslims trace their lineage back to Ishmael, the son of Abraham and his slave, Hagar, making them, despite historical differences and radical animosities, kin to the Israelites. Furthermore, it's crucial to acknowledge that while Muslims revere Jesus as a great prophet, they do not recognize him as the Son of God or the Messiah who offers salvation from sin and eternal damnation. Instead, they anticipate his return as a prophet who will affirm Islamic beliefs and lead Muslims in prayer, ultimately establishing peace and order on earth. With this understanding, let me now unveil how Christ is revealing himself to many Muslims through dreams, paving the way for transformative encounters with the living God. And this phenomenon is occurring for two primary reasons. Firstly, due to persecution. As we've witnessed, many individuals who do not adhere to Islam face severe persecution in these countries. Converts to Christianity often endure the confiscation of their belongings, mistreatment, imprisonment, and even death sentences. Secondly, because Muslims place significant value on dreams, viewing them as a direct means through which God communicates with them. They believe that during sleep, there is no external interference hindering the connection between them and heaven, allowing for divine messages to be received without obstruction. As Christians, we also recognize the significance of dreams as a medium through which God reveals himself. While we have examples of this in the Bible, Muslims tend to take these experiences even more seriously. In the following accounts, I will share remarkable cases of Jesus appearing to Muslims in dreams and transforming their lives. Let's begin with the story of Karim al-Akili, a former Islamic extremist. Raised with fervent jihadist ideologies, Karim aspired to wage war against Jews and Christians to advance Islam. However, his life took an unexpected turn when he encountered Jesus in a dream. Despite dedicating himself to preparing for battle, his mission was abruptly canceled leaving him confused and disillusioned. As he delved deeper into his studies, teachings about Jesus continued to surface, leading him to question his faith. Eventually, after earnest prayer, Karim experienced a profound dream where Jesus intervened and called him to follow. Overwhelmed by the experience, Karim embarked on a journey of faith, embracing Christianity and sharing his testimony with fellow Muslims. Similarly, Pastor Lazarus Yefnazar, founder of Transform Iran Ministry, reported numerous instances of Iranians encountering Christ through dreams. As he shared with the Faithwire program on CBN, dozens of Muslims in Iran have experienced divine encounters with Jesus, leading to profound conversions and transformations. These testimonies serve as powerful reminders of God's unwavering love and his ability to reach individuals in the most unexpected ways. Through dreams, Jesus is transcending cultural barriers and touching the hearts of those who seek him, demonstrating his boundless grace and mercy. According to the pastor, Iranians cannot stop talking about these dreams because they have been very deep and real. The testimonies of all of them are practically the same. They see a man in a white robe with a cross on his shoulder or in his heart who tells them, I am Jesus. And after the dream, they wake up sweating and trembling, Pastor Lazarus recounts. For this reason, 
many have been violently persecuted. Remembering that Iran is one of the most close and intolerant countries towards other religions than Islam. The practice of Christianity, in fact, can lead a person to public hanging. The pastor also shares that, in his meetings with ex-Muslims from other countries who converted to Christianity, more than 90% of them claim that they were touched by Jesus and decided to surrender their lives to him after a dream. How beautiful, brothers and sisters. Since 1991, over 100,000 Muslims have converted thanks to Pastor Lazarus's ministry. The third remarkable case. Jesus appears to 200 Muslims in the Gaza Strip on the same night, and the Palestinian people who profess the Islamic faith have suffered greatly because of this. At the end of 2023, while a group of Christians was helping Palestinians living in the Gaza Strip, a true miracle occurred. And this supernatural move was witnessed by Pastor Michael Lacona, a theology professor at the University of Houston and president of the Rise Jesus Ministry. According to Michael, God is working in the midst of war. On November 10, 2023, the Christian ministry was providing humanitarian aid to Palestinian parents who had lost their children in the war and sharing the message of hope from the gospel of Christ. And after those people were safe, fed, and clothed in clean clothes, the missionaries began reading the Bible to them focusing on the love and salvation that Jesus offers. Then, God's move happened among the Muslims. A great miracle happened on that same night, said Pastor Michael. Jesus appeared to more than 200 of them in their dreams. The next morning, they all came back to us to tell what had happened and to learn more from the Word of God, and they are asking how to follow Jesus. That's what the pastor reported. Brothers and sisters, look at this wonderful thing. Unfortunately, many of us have a wrong view of Muslim people and other religions, as if they were our enemies. But that's not true. They too were created by God. And just as you and I were spiritually blind one day, they too can have their eyes open to the truth and be set free by Jesus. So, when you go to talk to God today, put these people in your prayers, ask the Lord to reveal himself to them, whether through dreams, visions, revelations, or through Christian missionaries who are in these countries so close to our faith. They have given up many things in their lives to proclaim the gospel of Jesus to these peoples, so don't forget to pray for them, that God may protect them from persecutions and the evil deeds that many religious fanatics insist on doing to these missionaries and pastors. And if you are able to help in other ways than just with prayers, seek information about serious Christian ministries that bring the gospel of Christ to these nations. Open Doors Ministry is a good example of this and you can contribute financially. What may seem like little to you can make all the difference when it comes to winning a soul for Christ. Brothers and sisters, Jesus has appeared in dreams to many Muslims, to many people we can't even imagine, and all this shows that the coming of our Lord Jesus is very near. Amen? I ask you to share this video with your friends, family, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. May God bless you powerfully.